Welcome all back to Stray. Uh, I don't know how far we are through this, but we're gonna continue this. From what I remember, uh, we just fixed the transceiver. So now Momo is able to communicate with their friends. Outsiders. Look, a note. Little outsider, if you're reading this, that means you're still alive. Excellent. I took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of their antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open is quite simple. It is. Be careful, it is case sensitive. See you at the bar. I'm not gonna fucking remember that, so hopefully my little drone dude does. No new memories, so we will just go onward. Momo's at the bar waiting for us. The bar, if I remember, wasn't too far from anywhere. Yeah, it's right here. Fuck that thought. Nope, I, I want to go down. Thank you. What's poppin'? Hey, little furball. Come here, I managed to get a signal. Can, can I get up on the chair, please? There we go. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Almost got it. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out, Anna. Wait, is that you, Zabalt, sir? Momo. I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Zabalt, sir. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. Hello? Do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. There's orcs everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Darn it, we lost the signal. I can't believe it. Zabalter's alive. He and the outsiders managed to go up through the sewers. This is the most dangerous place in the slums, but if Zabalter made it, there must be a way. Everybody's sewers. It's infested with his perks. They'll make a quick meal out of you, especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyway, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. I don't think anyone asked you, though, so, uh... Lightly... Fuck off. Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. This has never been the same since. Don't listen to see me, she's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times, I don't see where he was working on it. There might be a clue in Seamus' apartment, come on, follow me. Seamus's apartment. Oh, you're still cleaning paint. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean it. <laughs> now it's an unlikely sheet. Oh, yeah, we already got this. Sheet music for Morus. Morusk. 
Come on, Seamus, open the door. You know your father would have wanted to help us. Well, that was to be expected. This situation pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the outsiders anymore. No one helped me but you. I think I have an idea. Oh, do we gotta be secretive? Don't let him see me or some shit. Alright, let me in. Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Zemus. It's a lot of in information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. I'm the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Uh, okay, no memories. What are you doing here? I told you. Going into the sewer suit mission. Leave me be. I want to explore your apartment, my guy. Uh, you want to see this poncho? Oh, yes, Grandma. So she's very talented, you know. Everyone has the same thing, Grandma. What's this? Wait, it, is this my papa's? Oh, wow. I never knew. There's a secret room here in our flat? But where? I'll tell you where. It's right here behind this picture. I don't know, probably not. Maybe this picture. Yeah. What does it say? Time will tell. Alright, where's the clock? It's the easiest thing ever. Uh, two, five, one, one is what it looks like. Two, five, one, one. Damn, Seamus never realized that these clocks don't work. Or does he just not care? Dude, look, it's the little leech thing. Observations. Cute sounds but never friendly. Old bacteria of human time. Eat all kind of materials. Total vision in the dark. Reacts to the intense light. But they don't like light. Maybe. First in this room. I can't believe he managed to hide it from me. All this time. These blueprints, they must be for his, his Zerk weapon. Papa was always so secretive with his work. He told me the weapon was working in theory, but it needed a real life test. He went outside the slums and he never came back. Robot news headline Zerks are first no longer out of control. They now eat metal. Anything interesting in here? Got a poncho. The flux or blueprint concept light based handgun, low priority, visual appearance, size, decibel emitted, test in real condition, and 20 zerk destroyed per second. Anything. But I don't know what I'm looking for. Is it in this box? Probably. Yo! 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 I hate dude. Dude. Wait, I remember that. That's his tracker. Papa always used that tracker to keep an eye on where it was. Maybe we can reverse it to find what he want. Where he went. I my papa might still be alive. I've missed him so much. You need a weapon for the Zerks, right? My papa definitely took one with him. We just need to repair the tracker so we can find him. Someone in the slum should be able to help. Come help. Come with me. I'll open the door for you. I'm just gonna go through here again. Oh. 
because I can't. No memories yet. I know where we're going to. Gonna be the fixy uppy boys. Yep, Elliot programming. Yes, can I help you? Oh, wow, that's a great tracker. I recognize the model. It's a Tohima BR2000. You can track anyone with this little gadget, may I? I don't know how to repair it, but when I'm trembling like this, I can't use my keyboard. I don't know if I'm sick or something, but I definitely don't feel right. I can't work when I'm shivering like this. I think I need a blanket. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. I knew the poncho would come in handy. I thought I was going to give it to one of my little friend dudes at some point when I met up with him and be like a secret achievement if I got it early on, but it eventually showed up. Oh, where did you find this? It's amazing. Let me try it. Look, no tremors. I'm able to work again. Thanks. Now I can definitely fix your tracker. Let me take a look. Just got to give it an update. And one more thing. Voila. There you go, little one. Good luck finding who you're looking for. Alright, now we just need to go back to... What's his face? What's happening? Did you manage to fix that tracker? You did? You fixed it. Well done. Give it here. I am loving this game so far. We got a ping. Is Papa really alive? I can't believe it. Let's follow the tracker. Maybe we'll find where my Papa went. This must be it. He really left the slums. It's dangerous out there, but I must be sure. I need to know. Let's do this. Wait, no, we can't leave without fucking uh, Momo. Momo wanted to come along too. It's like those people are guarding the door and we just open it and they're like, eh, we don't fucking care. Oh, this is where it gets interesting. Alright, what are my memories? Oh, still no memories? Look at all those Zerk eggs. They will eat us. I can't do this. Not as fast as you, the Zerks will get me for sure. Here, take this badge. My papa will recognize it. He will know that you're a friend. I'll open the door for you. Alright, we got three new memories. We have... I don't know what that is. It looks like maybe radio or a speaker on top of a table next to a light. We have a little shack somewhere. And we have inside a room. There's a mannequin robot. Well, I think that over there is my barrels to the left. But I could be wrong. Yeah, it is. Or not, maybe it's my other one. Look at how huge this wall is. Remember, it was a symbol of the division between those in the slums and in Midtown. 
That and the fact that they kept throwing their garbage down here. What a horrible thing to do. Maybe that's why they failed. Alright, good. Now we have... A little outpost shed and a mannequin dummy robot. Hey, what's poppin'? Dead end. Oh, there's no going back. We now run for our lives. through them. Alright. Hopefully I didn't miss anything important down there. I'm assuming not since, you know, I kind of wasn't able to stop at any point. Stop this thing! Now. Are you okay? That was a huge fall. Doc should be nearby. We must be close. I've survived farther. I mean, Doc must be close. They've probably been gone for years. If I was stuck in this situation, I would have left and been gone so far by now. What's there? I don't think anything interesting. Or anything I can reach, really. Maybe there's something interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. The scientist I used to work for always said he wanted to retire to a little cottage, fishing all day long. Of course, that's not, that not a possibility in the city, and nobody could have done that for at least a hundred years. When we get to the outside, what if we found ourselves a little cottage with a har harmless fishing rod and a lot of books? I think that's what the scientist would have wanted. But first, we should go find Doc. The last one's a mannequin. Zerks are everywhere. I got a basketball though. I need to find a battery of sorts. It's an electrical generator, but it seems to require some other part to function. Yeah, we just looked at it. I don't have anything. Maybe we follow the cord. I feel like those are best and only thing we have to go off right now is this cord. Zerk in a cage. Probably a good sign that they're nearby. Oh, there's Doc. 
There's the mannequin. Whoa. Wait, you're not a Zerg. Who are you? That's my badge you're wearing. How did you find it? Did my son send you? Oh, CMS, you clever boy. I've been alone here for ages. I came here to test my deflexor, but it didn't go as planned. I wish I could go back home. I miss my son dearly. You can have a look around the house if you want, but I have no idea how to escape this place. Well, I just need this. I've seen humans wear costumes like this. They were small and running around making lots of noise. Oh yes, I remember now, they were children. The streets felt much more alive with them. Even with the different, even with the difficulty they brought, the adults seemed to love them very much. Doc says he misses Seamus, is that the same thing? 51%. Is this the gun? Hey, be careful that a flux here. At full charge, it can explode. Zerg's like confetti. If we need 1.21 gigawatts to work, and the only thing around here with that kind of juice is a generator outside the house. The problem is that it won't start. I think a fuse blew, and with all the Zerg's around, it's too dangerous for me to go and fix it. It's not fast enough, but you just might be able to... You... But you just might be. If you can reach the generator and replace the fuse, I should be able to get the deflexor recharged. Come on, follow me, I'll show you what to do. I know it's a do, I just need a fucking battery. Here, take this fuse. It's brand new. Turning on the generator will be loud, so expect some zerks. Once you fix the generator, I should be able to charge and kickstart the deflexor. You just need to follow this cable. Charge the fuse, then meet me back here. Best of luck. Uh, I came from this way. Right now, there's no zerks, but like you said, after it charges, there probably will be. And then just checking, nothing. It's not that loud. It's just a UV light that kills them. Well, I can't get across that bridge. Let me free! This was a mistake! Alright, that was a mistake. We uh, don't go to dock right away. Unless we do. Dock, dock, dock. You got the generator back on. Have you seen how powerful the defluxer is? It definitely our way out of here. Wait a minute. I might be able to mount the defluxer to your drone. Oh, that'd be sick. V12 gets an upgrade. Don't work. The defluxer is now installed on your fancy drone there. Not to it's not meant to run off such a small power source. If you use it too much, it could not function. 
Just remember it's dangerous. Now let's go back to the village. I'm coming home, son. Alright, which way are we going? How do I use it? There we go. They never told me, but I figured it out. Probably would have told me right there. Take all the zerg so we can get through. Wow, it's working great, but I suspected it can overheat. Let it cool for a bit when that happens. I hope it will last until we reach the village. Boop. 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 Any new memories? Nope. Cruising through. The switch doesn't work. It looks like the electricity has been cut. But we still need Zabalter and we still need uh, whatever the other chick's name. Clementine. Zabalter and Clementine. I don't know where I'm taking this, but I'm assuming I have to go somewhere with it. I was right. I can't jump across to that. It's gonna make me use the thing. Oh no, I'm raised. That should be them all. I'll save you. Okay, bro, we go. Run, Doc, run. That was close. Let's go back home. One last check. No memories. Alright, I think we just go back home. It's kind of sad. Well, happy now, but sad in general that he thought his dad was dead and now he's alive. Thanks for saving Doc, little friend. It's great to see that Seamus is no longer alone. Now we know that we can fight back against the Zergs. Momo has been waiting for you up by the sewers. Dog and Seamus look happy. I think we did a good thing together. 
Night sewers. Thank you for all the great help, little musician. Oh, I can't request a song. But I'd love for her to play a song. I'm not putting the back on my head. I've learned my lesson after three times. I'm almost waiting for you on his boat. You can join him, but have you done it everything? Have you done everything you wanted in here? Because I'll close the door behind you. Don't want any Zerks coming through. Uh, I don't even have any memories, so yeah. There we go. Two new ones. We have a piping system, and we have a uh, part of a zerk nest. I'm not seeing anything. I see a ladder, and yeah, this one's just pipes. Probably not going to get to it until we get there. Something looks interesting in that room, but I don't know what... Everything here. Let's go. Here we come to docking. Found docking off the deflexor. With that, now we can go find Subalter. Let's go. So they all went different ways. I thought they would have all gone together, but apparently not. And like I said, we still need, we don't know where Clementine is. That is the fourth outsider. The sewers. Don't reach them. This is creepy. We're just cruising right now. I still love my little dude in the bag. Look at him. I don't see any way to open this gate. Can you take a look on the other side? So get off me. Been, I've never been this far out of the slums. With you here, I'm not even scared. Yeah, dude, you're protected by a fucking cat. Dude, look at it. It's like... I don't know. Dude's up there, but my thing doesn't reach. Not seeing any memories.
all this old machinery is broken now. I think we can only open it manually. Alright. Any memories? Not that I'm seeing. So we will continue. Yeah, this is my I believe in you. Can't go on with you, but I won't stop looking for a way. When you find Subalter and Clementine, tell them I was brave. So Subalter and Clementine are both here. Or maybe he thinks that. Because Subalter was the one talking to us. And I thought they would have been with Doc also. So maybe just Doc split off by himself. Oh, this place looks clean. If you look to the right, then it looks bad again. Oh, it broke at the worst fucking time. And this thing does not hold a charge. He's stuck in the wall. Was there a secret this way? Or did I just activate it for no reason? This was the secret. The sewer system. Yes, I remember now. Clean water was safe, scarce. The city was supplied by huge machin machinery that dug deep into the earth. Man, my stutter is fucking horrible today. Just like everything else, it was rationed out to sustain to sustain people during times of drought. The scientists showed me the blueprint of the water tanks. They are huge and could contain a whole building in them. Alright, now we just need the Zerk Nest next to the ladder. And that should be our last, uh, what is it, memory for this area. Probably won't be towards the end. Memories are evenly spaced out from everything I've seen so far, but they could fucking turn it, turn it around any moment. Here. Oh, this is gonna be lovely. I didn't mean it for the break. The battery on this thing honestly is horrible. I just want to make sure these guys don't fuck with me later, so I want to get them all in the hell. Alright, the end of the strat. Pop the nest, let it recharge, and then kill them off that way.
Oh, it broke. I wasn't paying attention. I thought it recharged faster. Alright, there we go. It didn't matter. There was still some behind the door anyway. But it probably would have been worse. I will say the soundtrack to this game is phenomenal. Oh, Zerg Nest over here? Is it next to a lighter? I don't think it is. That might not be it. I just see orange. Do you dare challenge me? Oh, that is fucking horrifying. Look at that. affected by it? They're not, they're just here. They're broke. For some reason they're not jumping up to get me. They're jumping up to get me. So that's the blobs in the background, their eyeballs. But still, like I said, there is a ladder in the background and I haven't seen one yet, so. The substance grows in all places where there are zergs. What it is made out of, it seems to pulse as though alive. Do you think we're inside a giant organism? It's frame chilling. 59%. We're three fifths of the way done. Damn, I missed my poncho. Which is able to keep it. Oh, hey, how you guys doing? I didn't even see the nest there. Eyes currently are asleep. I don't care if I meow at them. Something's gonna activate them and wake them up. Probably gonna be me. Yep, they're awake now. And they know where I am. Do 
through the long way around. Sir, sir, do you need help? I didn't even see the big guy until I looked to the left. Jesus. B12, I can use some help here. So close. Why do I feel so slow while running? dark i was alone it felt like i was back in the network but you saved me thank you friend throwing that much power is rough on my core but the fluxer is completely destroyed now we'll have to be careful well that didn't fucking take long got no memories what if i want to go the other way no that one didn't open so Traveling from the sewers, we haven't seen one of you in ages. Are the one who contacted us earlier, the little outsider? The brawler, the outsider, has been expecting you. He's meditating at the top of our village. Alright, we have a life pod that the, the scientist was in or something. We found it. We saw one when we were meeting Beats 12. And we have symbols next to a pink light and a couch. That bottom left thing looks like a couch arm. This machine, the scientist I assisted used one of these. He was sick, this was the last hope. He walked into the machine, but I wasn't with him. He was alone. What was he doing? 
He uploaded himself into the computer, and then everything was different. With the upload, something went wrong. He was stuck for hundreds of years. The little cat appeared. Was it? It was me. I was the scientist. I was human. Okay, I just thought that too. They uploaded themselves to be robots. I, I need a moment. Take your time, little buddy. So it got so bad for the humans that they uploaded themselves to being robots. As it was the only way to survive. Which is why they have so many human emotions and whatnot. Is that really the only memory here? That one and the one I'm about to get to? I'm sorry, I... I need a moment. I don't feel like talking right now. Oh, I might have pressed down on accident. Yeah, is there a reason I can come down here? Oh yes, stop these people. Okay, it's not that. Oh, yeah, he needs a moment, so he's not gonna be translating for me. Now, how the fuck do I get back up? Oh, here's the memory. I can't remember it, really. I'm locked out of everything until I talk to Zavalter. And yeah, this was not the way up. It was the more clearly stated way of this path. What else have I forgotten? I must have had parents, friends, what happened to everyone? I wanted to open the city, but is there even anyone left to save? Are you able to talk now? Nope, you're still having a moment. Alright, here's the Walter. Better be ready to talk now. What is this? I don't know what you're saying, my guy. Hey, don't you don't you know don't you know not to interrupt a fellow during his transcendental transcendental meditation? Oh, it's you. You were with Momo when we received that call earlier. I'm glad to meet you a little. At last, little outsider. You know Momo and Doc, so you're already familiar with us outsiders. I miss them. Memory brings me peace. Almost stayed in the slums. I heard you helped find Doc and Clementine. She's in Midtown now. If you still want to see the outside, she's the only one who can get you there. Apparently, she had some kind of plan to leave the city. Here, take this. I wrote her address on the back of this picture. To reach Midtown, climb up our little village. It should be easy for a dexterous one like you. If you manage to reach the outside, you will be the very first. I'd wish you good luck, but you don't need it. I believe in you. I'm sorry for cutting down earlier. I'm human, probably the last in the world. Now look at what's left of me. So much has come back to me. How much have I forgotten? I don't think- I think all the robots are human. Well, not maybe all, but definitely a lot are human. Maybe we find time time, we can restore my memories and get back to home at the same time. We can go back down and find out more from the companions or head onward to Midtown. Now I gotta get this memory right here first. This language, the companion robots made it up from scratch. How impressive. 
remember it happening when I was in the network. I don't know when exactly, but at one time, all the communication started to switch to these symbols. I was stuck in a computer and alone for a long time. So I translated every symbol and word one by one until I was able to understand everything. Now that I'm out and I know their language, I am curious to hear all they have to say. Alright, now how do I get out of here? Let's send to Midtown. Oh, that's not ascending. That's still not ascending. Please climb the ladder, cat. I hope we find out what happens to Momo. If Momo dies, I will be sad. Because Momo is stuck in the sewers right now. Oh, please don't like knock over paint. Mess everyone's day up. Boop. Now it's beautiful. Can I wear two? That way. Alright, to Midtown. Alright, so Clementine and Zeralter were not together like I thought. But they're not too far apart. Which, like I said, it's still weird that they all split up. I would think that you're better in numbers. Oh, a lot of memories opened up. We might finish this today. Alright, train station. That's a core memory, so we will find that on our own. We have a little nook outpost. There's a robot there and books. We have a... better a couch next to a window and a neon sign. We have pictures on a table or files on a table. We have either a television or another robot. I can't tell where though. We have sticky notes and we have a table with glasses on it. That will probably all be in Midtown. Here's a train. So that's probably the last of us being in the slums. Until maybe the very end when we go back and save Momo and everyone else. Look, this is the subway station. I had completely forgotten this kind of transportation existed. You could ride anywhere in the city. People used to take it to go to work. I used to take it too. Every morning after saying goodbye to my family at home. I remember I was doing this for them, but they're gone now. It was so long ago. I don't think they're gone. I genuinely think the people that were able to transported themselves into the robots. I don't think it would have just been one person. It would have not made sense. They wanted to see the outside, but does that even matter anymore? What happened to them? What happened to everyone? Anyway, we're near Maritown now. Let's find this Clementine. We have a picture of her. We can show it to some of the companions around here. Maybe they'll point us to the right direction. Do I take the train? Oh uh, no, we just go forward. Before we find Clementine, we have to look for all our remembered memories. There are so many books here. The Turing test likes- I love the Turing test. Thank- I love the Turing test and then the game is awesome too. Essex of Artificial Intelligence. I recognize some of these. Did I have a library? I remember nothing was quite like the smell of books in the turn of a page. It was a feeling almost like comfort. 
Look was like spending time with someone. Oh, uh, the Turing test is such an interesting thing. For those of you that don't know, the Turing test is a test that can depict things between a robot, the difference between a robot and a human based on the choices it makes. And that's, that's a brief summary. Let me look up the thing. It's a test of a machine's ability to exhibit intelligent behavior equivalent to or indistinguishable from that of a human. So yeah, about what I said. It tests to see the difference, like it it can pick out the differences between human and uh, artificial intelligence. What's going on over here? Please leave me alone. I'm not, in, I'm not the one you're looking for. Looking for Clementine, I'm sure she's not. How'd you know I'm looking for Clementine? Please say I'm going to cover it. Cooperate or we'll have to transfer you to jail and reboot you. Access to lower level is restricted due to the organic life hazards. Please keep out of this area. I was just there. I hope I don't have some disease I brought with me that lures the Zerks here and we all die. Oh, uh, there was nothing else here. Sick. Nico. Don't worry about the trash. Nico Corp is taking care of everything. Uh, not seeing much over here. Except I lied. There's a little secret. Now what does it now what does it do? So far nothing. It looks like that was pointless, that little hole. I can't go anywhere. There's no Yeah, there's nothing back here. Midtown. Hello? Anyone home? Alright, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth and I'm off to work. See you later. Okay, honey, be cautious of the sentinels. They are quick to make arrests for no good reason. Don't worry about me, babe. I'm good. Lots of back and forth thing. Clementine, troublemaker. Outsider rebellious. Clementine's wanted, so we're not going to find her easily. I can get in there. Police badge. That's going to come in handy. Look at it. Got a police badge. Outsider badge and oh, oh, collecting badges puts them on my vest. I didn't even know that. That's so cute. This might be her apartment. I hope it doesn't kick me out of the city. I still want to look for things. I thought you were sent or sent. Never mind. Who are you? What do you want? Alright, I'm not gonna talk with her just in case it kicks me out. I do not want that to happen. Can I sneak past you? You would have thought Clementine would have had a memory in her apartment.
Hey, you really would have thought that. Alright, I'll be back after I find more memories. I just want to play it safe. Answer me. What are you doing in my house? Wait, so Zabato finally decided to send someone? I guess you're my new recruit, you're not very big. How do you even manage the sewers? I guess you must be pretty resourceful. I've been looking for a way to the outside, even ev ever since I left Ant Village. The Sentinels are always watching. Now you're here. Now that you're here, you can help follow me. Now that you can help. Period. Follow me. Now I can help follow them. I've been working on a plan to use this old subway for a while now. I even have the keys to start it. All we need is an atomic battery to power it. I know Nico Corporation has one secured inside their facility. I have a contact who can help us infiltrate them. I don't know the name. He's the robot with a bomber jacket and a gold chain. Take this message to him. Someone small and swift like you should have no trouble sneaking this at the factory. One last thing. Don't hesitate to ask around for help. The city is full of information. Just stay clear of the sentinels. Bomber jacket and gold chain. Bomber jacket and gold chain. That wasn't me. That was like that before I got here. This alleyway. Alright, little one. The Nick Corporation is factory is no place for little fuzz while you. Access is restricted, but only for a little while. If you can wait a few years, we'll open right back up. I don't think cats have that life expectancy. Right here. Gold chain? Yes, sir. I'm busy. What do you want? Where did you get that? Oh, you're worth it. The outside? My contact? Let me brief you about the atomic battery. The battery is powering the Nico Corp factory right here. Right there. But this whole area is restricted and heavily guarded. They, they check every person who enters and turns away anyone who's not a worker. Here's an idea. Go get me a worker jacket and a worker helmet while I stay here to check for a good time to enter. Where the hell am I gonna find that? Alright, how am I gonna distract him? What to do? I'm just a little lost. I found the jacket. Right here, helmets. Nobody can enter the shop while it's being restocked, and seeing how incompetent those two are, it might be a while. What two? I've been waiting for ages for Stupalichi to get back and help me restock these hats. The boss is not happy. If the guy's blacking off with a bar again, he has another thing coming. Bar. Bar, 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 bar. Across the way? No, there's an actual bar. Right here. This guy. This guy? No, I already talked to you. Nope, that's Jazam. Are you stupid, Luchi? On in. Well, I can't talk to that guy. Oh, 
Here he is. How do I wake him up? I found out how to wake him up. Alright, sir. I'm gonna need you to go back and do your job. Thank you. shop was a social hub where people would gather, tell, talk, talk, tell jokes, and share secrets. It was a fun place. Even after the humans were gone, the companies kept the shop going. Turns out here is not a necessary ingredient for a successful barber shop. I always need to find these other ones. No, work is work, Slippy. Don't lose your head about it. Huh? That, that's this weird feeling. Not seeing anything important here. What's his face should be a back. Yep. No, I needed to get in that box. I still need to get in the, the peacekeeper area. Anything else I can do here? Not that I am seeing. Yep, not much. Now right, we have the helmet. Now we just need the other thing. Residency, I don't think I'm gonna find much here. I just wanted to put cameras in our residence. Are we gonna knock out all the cameras? I think that's what I have to do. I have to knock out all the cameras. Another one. I'm assuming this is either gonna be about five. Not seeing any more. I doubt there was just those three. Maybe it was, because now these guys are jamming. Maybe it was just those three. Uh, 
those tapes are ours. Don't, don't you know not to steal? I'm not gonna give you one because I saw you destroying the cameras. Oh, I'm going to give you one because I saw you destroy cameras and because I have a lot of them. But you promise not to steal again from us, I mean. I didn't mean to steal, I just wanted to talk to y'all. Oh, I think I know what to do now. I play a tape, that guy was gonna walk away, and then I take the jacket. So it doesn't solve the issue of how I am missing a lot of my, uh... What is it? A lot of my things, but it's whatever. Alright, sir. Yep, I have that. Excellent. The helm will do the trick. I still do need a proper worker jacket, though. Perfect. The jacket is exactly what we need. I'll get dressed now. Mind turning around? These are great. A little snug around the waistline, but it'll do. You hop in the box and I'll sneak you across the checkpoint. No new memories unlocked. You don't see me. You don't see me. Yeah, it's just a box. This is the way I'm supposed to be going, because I don't want to own explore. This leads nowhere. Uh, the robots disappeared from existence. They shot at me and then just ceased to exist. see it. Damn, it'd be a shame if a giant chunk of debris moved past and blocked these guys' visions. That would surely suck. That that would be stupid. 
Even though I want to. I really do. Okay. How do I get across? Oh, I don't need to get across. closer now. That was perfect. Follow me. Alright, so this guy is pointless. I gotta move him over here. He's not pointless. There's another one I'm missing. Something I'm missing. What if we take this guy off and move him over here? So we climb up that way, but that's not working either. Unless we move the barrel closer. Oh, maybe we have to move the barrel underneath now. I, I feel like I catch it right here. No. Alright, I think I know what I gotta do. Uh, no, you stay there, you stay there, you stay there, you stay there. This guy moves to the left. Yeah, and then I move the barrel. Oh, I'm so smart. Oh, stuttering. Please stop. And we're on lockdown. We got it. Quick, let's get out of here before some sentinels show up. We got the battery in our backpack. We got- we gotta get this battery back to Clementine. I don't know where I got backpack. Alright, this spot's open, which is good. The sentinels, they were meant to protect people, fighting crime and maintaining order. But as life became harder and the city and group started to rise up, Sentinels quickly became the hounds to, of the powerful. They were the perfect tool to keep the city under control. Obedient, unquestioning, tireless. Even after the end of humans, they continue to exert their control. Always on duty, relentless. Can I get up here? There's obviously something up here. Thank you. There we go. This spot is nice. What I wouldn't give to actually feel the softness of the pillows or the taste of a cold drink. The drone is useful, but I miss having my own body. I miss feeling. I miss hurting and being hungry. I know this isn't helpful, but what if we stayed just a little longer? Thanks for listening. I'm ready now. Alright, 
where would this last thing be? Maybe over there? Oh, how did I miss this? It's interesting to see robots mimicking human work and behavior. Here they seem to sell burgers and street food. I remember my favorite place to go when I was human. It was small and welcoming, and the server's name was... I don't remember. It started with an M, I think. Alright, now, how do I get down? There we go. Nope, I went down. I don't know. I'm gonna go give the battery to Clementine. It, it's probably gonna open up the club, and that's where it is. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, Jesus, it's a one shot. God damn it. I don't know how this is gonna help me, but it might. Oh, everything everything came over to look. Okay, so this doesn't help me. I will never meow again in my life. The mistake, I'm sorry. That's right. We go up. And then she should be. You don't say anything. You don't say anything. Oh, I got so far. He turned around at the wrong moment. Wrong way again. Clementine. Clem? Hmm. No sign of Clementine. Oh, what's that? It looks like some kind of coded message. We're gonna have to play a detective to figure out what happened to her. Look, for B2 and the cat, the answer lies in my stuff, and then there's four symbols. 
Sign Clementine, take a look. You found something? I don't see anything, are you sure? My senses can only detect harmless chemicals in a gaseous state. They can't recreate the calming sensation I remember. Like me, companions can't smell, so I wonder why they do this. There's also a hidden message under the container. It says, I'm with... I'm with who? The gem of a medium value and low purity. The glow seems to have been added artificially. Maybe it acts as a beacon for us to find something useful. Bingo. There is a message. It says, I'm with Blazer. Blank, 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 blank. And what? I don't have a thing to have in our apartment. Is that the way the companions here see humans? It's kind of funny. Look, something's been left there. Come to. Found something? I don't see anything. Are you sure? Oh, it's the cone. That's what that one was. The fourth one's a lava lamp. It's that one up there. I've no idea what this is, but its glow is kind of mesmerizing. Sorry, I was elsewhere. I didn't even notice the message here. It reads nightclub. How many players are going to the nightclub? That's it. Well done, Lieutenant Cat. Now let's go find her. We don't have much time. is this away it's not for you go away I don't think the monster's gonna let us in hey guys I think we're gonna have to climb at the back again Yo, dude's a pimp. Can, can we talk? Here we go. Howdy, how are you doing today? Hey, how'd you get up here? You wanna party with us? Here, jump in and get a drink. Dude, that guy's sick. I feel like my mask I made it myself. It jams the dental scans and it looks cool. Often. Hey customer, the access to the VIP balcony is closed. Some private biz is going on there. Things are reserved by some blazer guy, I think. Oh, I got a strange drink. Why, why is it like this? I can't move- oh, what the f- Hello! <gasps> it's my last memory. Let's knock everything down. And then remember, just the table. When I was human, my friends and I would gather and party long into the night, even if we had to suffer the annoying consequences the next morning. 
It felt good to find joy despite the unlivable surface, and the underground living conditions became more and more squal squalid. And the capitalist greed of companies like Nico Corp and the police state created by the Sentinels. Now I remember why we were doing that. Shit, we're almost done. Oh. Okay, let's go. I want to make some noise. How's everyone doing tonight? Did he just dab on me? Now what am I doing up here? Am I doing anything up here? Seems not. I get I can't move any further. Alright, I need to find a lever somewhere. I paid extra to get tonight's dance moves from the bouncer. Here's the one programming the holograms in his spare time. Oh, sucks. When I tried to get to that stupid VIP room, they kicked me out. Me? Can you believe it? But oh, I still this lever just for kicks. If you give me a drink, I'll give you this silly lever. I don't need it, and I don't want to be caught with it. Oh, thanks, my friend. Here you go, as promised. into his body and see what his face looks like now. Okay. Big button. No, I want that down, I'm pretty sure. Uh maybe not that either. That should be fine. Blazer, where are you going, buddy? I have any memories, by the way? No. very good relationship with the Sentinels. I don't understand why people complain so much about them. I don't think I'll be interested in what you have to give me. I already have access to everything. Let me dance now, please. <laughs> you were just one stone. You're not as clever as you look, little cat. Anyway, nothing personal. Business is business. Business is money. And I value money way more than friendship or... Um... I don't know. Camaraderie. They are all yours. And I'm dead. GG. Well, this game was fun. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one.